Hey, hey, folks. Uh, Dan Finity here. I have the pleasure of receiving uh, one of these XLR docks for the Stream Deck Plus from Elgato. They sent this to me as part of their ambassador program. First things first, before we get started, I really, really love my Wave XLR. This thing uh, has changed my audio incredibly uh, over the years. Before I used this, I used the Wave 3, which is probably my favorite USB microphone that I used prior to the XLR, which basi basically turns any XLR microphone into a USB mic. I have this Shure mic. Uh, it sounds really good. The, the Wave 3 sounds good as well. Um, with the software, I think the primary reason why I got this microphone was to get into the Elgato software, which is just incredible. So when they announced uh, that they were going to be doing this uh, XLR dock with Stream Deck Plus, I was intrigued. I don't know if you're like me. I got a, I got a lot of desk space, but if I can take something off of my desk, I, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do that. So the way that this is like proposed to be is that it will just slide into the back of my Stream Deck Plus, and then I should be able to transfer my microphone over to that dock and for it to like basically replace my Wave XLR, which I'm excited for. Uh, all right, let's break into the box. Let's see. I really like that Elgato has gone with this more um, natural push to open, not pull in. This more natural, ecological, friendly, Packaging. Okay, so we got the XLR dock for Stream Deck Plus quick start guide. We'll be sure to look at that. Uh, and then we have, that's it. Okay, all right. So this will go right into the back of my deck. Hold on, I'm gonna take that out here. So the way this should work Oh, it's also got plastic that you can just peel off the bottom if you're like if you're like really into that. Um, so the XLR is right there. It has the power USB uh, 2.0 right there, as well as a headphone jack. This just goes right into the back of the thing. Oh, we got to get a screwdriver. Knew I had a screwdriver around here somewhere. We're just going to undo the screws here. Two out. All right. We're going to place the original base here and then we're going to place that into the back there. So it's all plugged in. So this power supply should be able to power not only this device, uh, which boasts phantom power as well, just like the Wave XLR, but uh, it should also uh, support the Stream Deck Plus. If this works well, I feel like this would be a really solid gift to any creator if they're looking to get into the Elgato system it's like yeah I got you this really cool stream deck which is quickly becoming one of my favorites in the line I got you this really cool stream deck and uh, it also had this thing where you could plug a microphone into it have fun more bang for your buck less space on your desk all right we're also going to just gonna peel the plastic off oh yeah very cool okay so, front of the thing, the back of the thing with the new base, with the new dock, and then we're going to plug this in. Uh, so this is the dock sound after plugging it in to the uh, Stream Deck Plus. Had to do a little bit of finagling around as uh, the voice mod that I use for streams uh, didn't want to play nice with it for a second there, but this is nice. Like it, it has cleaned up my desk space a little bit. I can I have a little bit more room uh, on there to to mess around with some things and not have it uh, be nearly as jumbled as with this also kind of being jammed on my desk. Uh, the one thing that I will say about this is I will probably miss having the giant knob to spin around. It also had this peak indicator here. Uh, on the Wave XLR that allowed me to see uh, when I was maybe being a little bit too loud and maybe that Jenny would, would come in and, and, and say, hey, you need to knock it off. Uh, so I think that this is pretty good. I'm gonna go back and listen to the video and, and see what I think about it.
Hello again. I'm recording this uh, about a week after, give or take, from when I first installed the XLR dock. Same shirt though. So I've been using the XLR dock for the majority of the week. Um, I had a few little fits and bumps with it, not necessarily with the hardware itself, but with the software, the Wavelink software that comes with Elgato devices with the latest update of 1.11 that released on July 25th of this year. When I updated 1.11, uh, and this is known among some computers, uh, it actually took out the PC gaming channel completely uh, from operation for me. Uh, so I fussed around with it for a few days. I got friends into calls. I pulled my hair out and also said some words that I'm not going to repeat here, uh, just in case this gets monetized. So I think the device is great. The software I ended up rolling back to 1.10. After I got all that sorted, I went to this video by a creator named Defrag. They have a video that is completely about the VSTs that you can use with your, your Wavelink software. It's awesome. It is unlisted right now, but I'll leave a link to that as well in the description. Do I like this device? I think the device is great. If you're somebody who uses the Stream Deck Plus, I think having the XLR dock or the USB dock, adding that to this device only enhances the experience and use of that tool. I think if you had a Wave XLR previously on your desk, it is a good thing to replace. You don't have to replace this device. I will say if you're looking to purchase both together, that the XLR dock for the back of the Stream Deck Plus is actually $30 less expensive than the Wave XLR is currently. As with software, everything eventually gets worked out, so I don't see that being a problem for the foreseeable future, just in the present. And Elgato knows about the issue. I brought it up with them. There's also several Reddit posts about uh, the latest 1.11 update on the Wavelink. So that's something that will get solved in time. If you're somebody who is getting into podcasting, if you're somebody who is a former musician or a current musician, you just have a lot of XLR mics laying around. If you're somebody who's into filmmaking, if on and on and on in the creative endeavors around like a YouTube channel or Twitch streaming, uh, I think the XLR doc will treat you well. Let me know in the comments your experiences, your questions. If I don't know the answer, I will try to find somebody who knows the answer. And if you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I hope you find what you're grinding for.